So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the purple joggers with the purple duffel bag in GTA 5 Online after the patch of 1.68 and also the new weekly update. So I haven't made a video on this on a pretty long time. It's been about a year since I made a purple duffel bag video. So yeah, I decided to make one. Before we do get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my newest subscribers here on the channel, Lil Z. And if you do want to get a shout out just like this, all you got to do is click that red subscribe button. So just subscribe to my YouTube channel. So it's literally red subscribe, but just click on it. I pick someone from, uh, I pick like a random person that subscribed in one of the videos. So if you do subscribe in this video, you might get a chance to get a shout out. In the next video, I also do clothing glitches, car merges, and I also do go live with subscribers and do car meets. So if you choose about any of those things, just click that subscribe button. And real quick, go drop a like before the video starts. Just real quick, drop a like. Dropping a like is the number one way you can show support to the channel. So just real quick, go drop a like and let's get into accounts. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. Now, once you're in, uh, don't change any of the settings. Just click confirm settings and you're going to have to invite at least one player in. Uh, you can literally just go into a public session and people usually join these. So it doesn't really matter. Just invite anyone to it. And now just click on start. And now once you started it, just like this. By the way, if you do have any questions, make sure you do leave a comment down below. I'll try to reply to like every single comment. So if you do have like any questions uh, with this method right here, just do be sure to let me know. So now, as you can see, this, there's orange team and there's purple team. So if you want to get the purple joggers, you go on the purple team. And if you want to get the orange joggers, you go on the orange team. But you click on the video for the purple joggers. So I'm going on the purple team. And then you just tell everyone to ready up. So now here, you don't have to do anything. You just load in. Now, once you do load into the job, you will see that you don't have the joggers ju just yet, but you just wait about like 10 seconds. So you, you see you're on this lo little screen right here. And now once you do load in just like this, and then as you can see, boom, you have the purple joggers. And now wait, or keep watching because there's one more thing you have to do, because if you don't do this, if you just back out of the job, it won't work. So what you have to do is go down right here to uh, gloves and just change your gloves. Now, once you change your gloves just like this, now you can actually back out of the mission. So just back out of the mission just like this. Because if you don't change your gloves, the joggers won't actually save. So now you just load back into online and you will see that you do have uh, the purple joggers and also comes with a purple bulletproof helmet. Now I'm going to show you these are actually real. You can actually change the top and the shoes as well. Um, you will be able to do that. So they're not fake purple joggers. These are real purple joggers. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, Make sure you do drop a like on this, so quickly go drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, I do uh, like clothing tutorials, car merges, and I also do go live and with subscribers and do car meets. So if you're interested about any of those things, you know, just click that red subscribe button. And we also trade cars on stream as well. So now you just save them. So this one is pretty easy. So up next, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually get the purple duffel bag in GTA 5. So this is going to be the purple duffel bag and you won't need a husky for this. So this works on all consoles. So Xbox, PlayStation, PC. So you will need to bookmark any job for this. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Now for this, you will actually need a salvage yard or you could use a friend's salvage yard. So it's pretty easy. What you're gonna have to do uh, is you're gonna have to go right here to the computer and you're gonna have to start the Dugan robbery. So it's gonna be the Obey Omnis EGT this week. Now I recommend you do it this week because every single week they do change. Uh, you're gonna have to do the scope out mission. And once the scope out mission is done and you come back to your Scope back mission takes about like a minute or two. Uh, you gotta like scope back the maze bank arena. Now you will come back and you will see the screen and you don't do anything, just get out of your salvage yard. So you're just gonna have to go outside. And by the way, if you do need someone to help you out, you can just join one of my live streams. I'm usually live and you could probably get someone uh, to help you out and you know, help each other out. So you should see these robbery tasks. The one you're gonna have to go is one by a clothing store. So just any robbery task by a clothing store. So for you, it might be different uh, than mine, but just make sure it's next to a clothing store. Now, once you made your way over there, you're gonna have to click right on the D-pad to actually contact Jamal. Now, once you've done that, uh, you'll actually have to find the duffel bag. So the duffel bag should be inside the clothing store. 
so just go inside the suburban and the duffel bag should be located behind the counter so i will show you right here and by the way you don't actually like you need to save the duffel bag i will show you how to actually save it so do be sure to keep watching the video because you won't, you can't just save the duffel bag uh, you actually have to do a little glitch so it's pretty easy though so you're gonna have to equip the outfit where you want the duffel bag to be on so the outfit that you will have on right now will be the one with the duffel bag and yeah there's actually an easy method you can also like transfer the duffel bag over to any outfit so i will include that in my next top five clothing glitches so make sure to click that red subscribe button that way you don't miss it so every single friday i upload a top five of the best clothing glitches so if you don't want to miss out on that uh yeah just make sure you click that red subscribe button so what you're gonna have to do is lose your cops and lose the cops and then you're gonna have to go in a flying vehicle right above your salvage yard and you're gonna have to jump out and what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to land right on the circle so it's gonna be a like a yellow circle so you just land on the circle so you're gonna have to jump out of your oppressor now once you jumped out of your oppressor you're gonna have to go towards the circle and then you're gonna have to land exactly on the circle this part might be a bit tricky depending on where your salvage yard is located as you can see mine so you just uh you can tap r1 and l1 to get it easier and boom just like this as you can see i got it And now once you do go inside, just go back outside. And now what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to make your way to the ammunition. So just any ammunition on the map, you're just going to have to buy a parachute. And you're going to have to buy this specific parachute right here. So it's going to be the Israel parachute, uh, number 23. So it has to be this one. So uh, number 23, you just equip this one right here. And then you're going to have to open your interaction menu, go down to appearance. And then go to parachute and just make sure parachute is set to on. Now you'll see the parachute will go on your outfit. Now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get back into a flying vehicle. It doesn't have to be an oppressor, it could be like a buzzard. And what you're gonna have to do is fly over to the max store. And you're gonna have to jump out, but jump out where you're like far enough from the clothing store. You're gonna have to land next to the clothing store. I mean, not the clothing store, a max shop. Now what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to land by the left side where the blue t-shirt is. So you will see a blue t-shirt. And what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to land right into the blue t-shirt. So you're gonna have to just crash into the blue t-shirt. So you will see to the left side, uh, you can rewatch this part multiple times uh, just to see how you do it. So as you can see that blue t-shirt, you just crash into it. And then once your character stands up, just spam around on the d-pad, just like this. So spam around on the d-pad, then you should be on the screen and I'll just save the outfit in any slot. So it doesn't matter which slot you save it on, um, you just save the outfit. And after you save the outfit, you can name it whatever. Um, you will open, just back out of this, open your interaction menu and you will see that you do have the purple duffel bag on your outfit so this is how you get the purple duffel bag and the purple joggers so i didn't put the purple duffel bag on the purple joggers but you can't do that uh yes yeah, so if you did enjoy the video real quick go drop a like on it if you haven't done so already here on the screen is top five of the best clothing glitches so if you want to go watch that click this right here on the screen and i'll see you there peace